Smoke a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Y'all know what the fuck we doing, man. It's Hot Thoughts TV. Niggas hot in the beach, man. I'm smoking a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. And so when um, we met at the M Bar, we ended up just hitting the studio, and then Wiz took me on his tour. One of his first tours I was on Wiz tour. We did the spotlight shit, and in that song, I spoke on a whole lot. I spoke shit into existence. And I had to go to New York to actually shoot the video. I felt like if we just shot that video, shit would have went way more crazy. But I was in, I was fighting a case in Atlanta at the time, so. I couldn't even get the fucking video shot. But that's when I went to the studio with Holmes and we was we was fucking around and he came up with the black and yellow shit in the studio. So yeah, that's one of my niggas. Him and Currency. So one thing that's been floating around uh, a lot lately, I feel like a trending topic is people been saying rap being a rapper is like the most deadly job you could be. What's your thoughts on that? I don't think it's a deadly job. I think niggas make the job deadly. And what I mean by that is Niggas gotta pick a side of the fence you gonna be on. Either you gonna be a street nigga or you gonna be a rapper. You can't you can't balance the two. You gonna either be one or another. And the thing about the tongue, bro, the tongue speaks shit into existence. What make it dangerous is niggas is trying to play both sides. When you out there and you talking about stepping and you talking about sliding and you talking about certain shit, that's energy, bro. Life is about energy. And you make you get to the money just to go back. Once you get to a certain status, bro, you can't be doing the shit you was doing back then. I'm all for fucking with the hood, and I'm all for being from the hood and all this shit. But my nigga, when you can't be you, you can't be lingering. You didn't escape this shit and going back to this shit, thinking you gonna chill amongst niggas that ain't having what you having at this point. And then you speaking on certain hood shit. And the thing about when you go to speaking on shit that you ain't got no business speaking on, you put yourself a part of that bad energy. And so that bad energy ain't gonna do nothing but catch up to you. It's just like Walker said on the interview. Niggas make a danger a, a situation. You escape danger to go to a dangerous situation. Once you didn't leave, once you left that shit, you can't go back to that shit, bro. I don't even want to be associated with a whole lot of shit that I used to be around because now you going amongst wolves. You might as well put a stake around your neck and walk in the lines then. That's the equivalence of it. Once you got them M's, bro, you you at a certain level of success, you'll put yourself in situations that are that'll bring you right back down when you up here. It's like niggas joining gangs that ain't never been in no game. But you done got the millions and now you're part of a gang. That shit don't make no type of sense. Yeah, common sense just ain't common no more. Mm -hmm. Ain't no motherfucking way I got the M's and I need to be in the projects amongst a bunch of motherfuckers that ain't even having what I'm having. So at that point, I done put myself in a position to where I'm needed to these niggas now. And then what happened when you cut niggas off that, that's running the muck on your pockets? What's gonna happen then? Wolves gonna come eat. And you gonna make yourself food to the hungry. So you putting yourself in them positions. Niggas on here rapping by bodies and rapping by this and then you gonna turn around and say, nigga snitching on me, you telling on yourself. And I just had this conversation with some motherfuckers earlier. The thing about the police, the police watching everything now. So you damn near doing it to yourself. Ain't nobody doing it to these niggas. These niggas doing that to themselves. R.I.P. the PNB Rock and the Pop Smokes and all this, but let's just keep it funky, bro. Like. You going in the sections, it's cool you from this hood on this other side of the world. And you think just because you a hood nigga, but you from this hood, you don't know how this hood operate over here. So you gonna go to this hood not knowing the laws of the land. You gotta respect the laws of the land. It's just like that in Houston. It's certain areas in Houston, if a nigga don't know you, you fool to the hungry. You walking around with all this jewelry on, my nigga, you ain't strapped. You don't know the laws of the land. You really ain't using your common sense. Then you posting shit while you're somewhere. Everybody is looking at this traffic on this internet. So you put you making yourself subjective to getting your ass robbed and stepped on. Because you in the, the hood where he was at. In I think it was he was at the Roscoe's off La Cienega in um, South Central. That block right there, you had five different gang territories at one time 
you in about a good three crip areas and two blood areas. And them niggas already at odds. But then, nigga, you a lick in the middle of that. You ain't got no security. A lot of these niggas that's dying ain't. Do y'all ever hear? They got security? No. You want to know why? Niggas want to portray this image that I'm this super nigga. And, and nigga, ain't nothing going to happen to me because I'm from the hood. Nigga, you need security. It's one thing for you to be strapped. That's cool. You ain't Rambo, my nigga. You with your, your kids. You with your gal and all that. Nigga, you need security. That shit vital when you get to a certain level. And then you got to think. That's why I tell you the cap shit come back in. Niggas ain't really having it like that because security costs, my boy, to be riding with that type of shit. That shit costs. And niggas ain't protecting themselves, so you put yourself in the middle of the hood with half a million of jury on. You stupid as a motherfucker if you do that. You asking to get robbed. Go go your ass off Market Street and you ain't from Market Street with all this shit on and don't nobody know you over there. I'm finna go in the middle of Fifth Ward. I'm finna go eat at Momo's with all this jury on. Nigga don't know who the fuck you is. You a lick. Nigga, pandemic over. Niggas ain't having no money. 